Worldwide Hippies presents Hippie News and Stuff with Winston Smith and the Worldwide Hippies News Team. Welcome to Hippie TV News and Stuff for the week of June 21st, brought to you by WorldwideHippies.com, your website for progressive information and news without the mainstream fog. I am Winston Smith. This week, a Japan update. Houston, we have a problem. Good news, bad news for paraplegics, asshole of the week, and more. P.E. Nolan has the week off. First, our top story. No one is sure what is being discussed between Barack Obama and the Speaker of the House, John Boner, while they were on the golf course last weekend. But with the debt ceiling needing to be raised and Obama's weakness for surrender, working class people, the poor, and the elderly can be sure it's more shared sacrifice between these groups and not a compromise on taxing the rich. Worldwide Hippies has been investigating a little-known and even less reported scheme Congress and the President have been working on behind closed doors. The scheme reported first here on Hippie TV News is to take away the tax incentives or at least put limits on 401 entitlement and will be combined with Social Security misinformation that we must save the country spin from mainstream corporate media and politicians is all you will hear for the next few months. Truth is, they're coming for your retirement money. Please take steps to protect what little you have left, but don't use your mattress as a bank. With the Patriot Act being renewed for four more years, Homeland Security has probably sneaked and peeked under all of our mattresses already. And don't buy gold coins either, for Christ's sakes. On to Japan. Not only is the fallout worse than told, but in a notice signed by both the Ministry of Education and Science and the Ministry of Health and Welfare, was issued to all doctors and hospitals banning medical research and checkups on citizens affected by radiation without first getting permission from the Japanese government. Also, 35,000 Japanese children will be forced to wear monitors while attending school in the area. The monitors are not for warning the children when they are receiving elevated amounts of radiation, but are strictly for collecting information for the government on their exposure. Monitors will be collected each month, month and replaced with new ones in what seems like a non-volunteer clinical trial on the long-term effects of radiation, with children being used as guinea pigs. TEPCO, the company responsible for the radiation leak, is releasing what it calls slightly radioactive air from the facility's number two reactor building. A very sharp rise in radiation was detected within that building, forcing cleanup efforts to stop on Saturday. There was no comment on how radio, highly radioactive particles become slightly radioactive particles just by releasing them into the air. Must be similar to the United States' way of saying fallout levels here have dropped because the EPA and NRC have stopped monitoring for it. So what's going on in Texas? Texas has one of the highest rates of animal abuse by children per capita in the nation, but in one week they broke their own record. Just a few of the cases reported. A group of kids are suspected of beating a dog to death and burying it in a yard. Another juvenile glued a kitten's mouth shut and then drowned it. A group of children also set a dash hound on fire, and the list goes on. Harris County Assistant District Attorney Belinda Smith, who prosecutes animal cruelty cases, says we are absolutely serious about prosecuting animal cruelty cases to the fullest extent of the law. But Texas laws against animal cruelty are some of the most lax in the nation, and a good old boy state that embraces serial killers, most notably G.W. Bush, it is unlikely that anything will be done to address the epidemic of children abusing animals in the near future. After all, George W. Bush tortured animals when he was a young child, and he grew up to torture and kill countless human beings and was rewarded with a huge pension and luxurious lifestyle. Why would Texas officials want to discourage their children from emulating such a successful guy? No numbers were available at the time of this recording for the amount of animals that have been tortured and killed in G.W. Bush's gated community since he moved in. Good news, bad news for paraplegic. First, the good news. The University of Michigan's Electrical Engineering and Computer Science Department have developed a BioBolt, a non-invasive brain implant. This creates motion from thought. Basically, the device is placed on the skull and not implanted and picks up brain waves and transmits them back through the skin to stimulate muscle movement to produce the desired results of the subject with the device. If you ever had a loved one who's lost movement in any parts of their body, you can begin to understand the importance of just such a device. But here's the bad news. As with the majority of discoveries by universities, this discovery will be given to corporations to patent and exploit for profit. Never mind that it was tax dollars that funded the research.
Little known to the public is the fact that most pharmaceutical and health research is not funded by the companies themselves. Actually, corporations spend more money lobbying crooked politicians and advertising useless, overpriced designer drugs than they spend on research. Some corporations spend nothing at all on research. Although politicians and the corporations themselves point to the research as the main reason for high health care costs and not profits, Truth is taxpayers have paid for the research in over 70% of all breakthroughs in healthcare and science for over 30 years, as corporations are handed patents on these discoveries and monopolies on their distribution. So, as with so many other discoveries in science and medicine, the Bible will only be given to the wealthy who can afford it. Oh, it's time for our asshole of the week. This week it goes to Mayor Nan Gorman of Hazard, Kentucky, for her disingenuous apology for a city employee's ejection of a gay disabled couple from a public pool. Last week, a worker at the city-owned pool cited the Bible as the authority that gay people weren't allowed to swim there and forced two gay men to leave. The two men had gone Friday to the Hazard Pavilion Recreation Center in Hazard with a group called Mending Hearts Incorporated, which works with intellectually and developmentally disabled adults. Mayor Nan Gorman, 83, doesn't get it. She is more upset that people are calling her office than she is upset about the indignity and homophobia her employee displayed and inflicted. I've had people call from everywhere, Gorman said. You'd think we've had a murder scene up here, a massacre. We're all aware of tolerance here, and the city pool once even hired a gay lifeguard. Oh, man. Sherilyn Perkins, executive director of the Mending Hearts Incorporated, said in a statement that the pavilion staff member used the Bible to urge the company to, couple to leave the facility. My staff asked the pavilion staff why they were being asked to leave, and they were informed that, quote, gay people weren't allowed to swim there, unquote. She said, quote, my staff told this man that what he was trying to do was discrimination. The man stated that he was doing what was in the Bible and he could do it, unquote. My clients, who already feel ridiculed and indifferent, left the city-owned facility crying, embarrassed for trying to participate in normal, act normal activities that everyday normal people do. When pressured by reporters, Mayor Nan Gorman, 83, did apologize, but went on to say she has made no decision on whether disciplinary action should be taken. Her excuse is because she didn't actually see what happened that day herself. Although many people have come forward to tell the event to her, Mayor Nan Gorman, 83, went on to say, it's just kind of blown out of proportion, just a little bit. Strange thing to say about an incident she herself said she did not see. She even went on to say that these people were given a discount for swimming there. And we don't single out gay people, she said. We know enough. We don't allow people to show infection of any kind in our pool, whether it's a man or a woman or two women or two men, she said. Good one, Nan. So for not representing all the people of your town, for refusing to man up and admit to the prejudice you allowed to go on, for whining about those who do take offense to this act of homophobia, and for upholding an unconstitutional law forbidding shows of affection such as putting your arm around somebody in a public place, you, Mayor Nan Gorman, 83, are Worldwide Hippies Asshole of the Week. And that's it for Worldwide Hippie TV news and stuff. Please visit WorldwideHippies.com for more news and stuff updated every two hours. And visit our store or make a donation to help Worldwide Hippies keep up the howl for peace and justice. And we will see you here next Monday.